My house is haunted. How do I find out who died? That's what we're going to be discussing. Everyone, I'm Diana Palm of dianapalm.com. I'm a medium author and spiritual healer, and I have lived in many haunted houses. Um, some of you might say I'm actually an expert at finding out the research of who lived there before and who may have died in your property. Why is it haunted? Let's find out. The first thing that I do when I'm living in a haunted house is I want to get as much research about the property as possible. I usually begin with more local history, starting with obituaries, newspaper articles, any occurrences that happened in terms of the property, if there has been a violent death or even a natural death in the home. Another good way to do this is by talking to neighbors or people that have lived in that town for a long time. Now keep in mind, that's not your most reliable source, but it can get the ball rolling for you in the right direction. If you're in a historical property, it's going to be really important for you to go back to the historical society and work with the historian to help you pull articles on that address. They usually have all the information based on an address that dates way back to when the house was initially built. You may also find a lot of information at the county courthouse or the surveyor's office looking for when the land was first divided and built upon. You can obtain information from abstracts and titles or deeds for the house. My favorite resource, aside from the Historical Society, is actually working with a historian at the library. Once when researching a haunted house that I lived in, the historian at the library helped me to find original obituaries connected to my home. We were also able to find something really interesting at the library. We actually found newspaper clippings from the late 1800s when they began to develop the houses in a certain area of town. And there were actually townspeople that were writing about the building of homes and development of the land at the time. It happened to be that the land was a potter's field, which simply means an unmarked cemetery. And you guessed it. Those bodies were not moved and homes were built upon the land. Still to this day, people are digging up headstones. I quote, the townspeople were up in arms, is what the article said. They did not want the houses being built upon a burial ground, informal or not. While there were actual deaths that occurred in that house that I lived in, the whole surrounding area, some of the neighboring houses and the land itself was haunted due to a disturbed cemetery. Another kind of interesting piece of information I found on the haunted house that I lived in is a historical map on my neighborhood. There's a very large field right around the address that I lived in. It has a number code of four. And when I looked down at the key on the map, I discovered that sure enough, this was a well-known cemetery. And so you just never know what you're going to find in terms of evidence and things to validate the ghostly activity in your home. It is always in the best interest to cross over and heal any ghosts that are left behind in a home or on a property. I would love to hear what you do to get the research on your home and how you have found validating evidence that your home was haunted. Post that below in the comments and I would love to have you subscribe for a new video every Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.